KITV4's Roger Mari has more on the commemoration of the day Queen Lilio Kalani was forced to relinquish her power in Hawaii. Roger? Well, Andrew, for many Hawaiians, January 17th is not a day of celebration, but a day to remind people that the Kingdom of Hawaii still exists. The day started with a march from Mauna Ala in Nu'uanu, ending at Iolani Palace. Dozens from various organizations come together in solidarity to honor Queen Liliuokalani and many others of the royal household. It was in 1893 that this palace became property of another nation. They were here to back a group of insurgents that wanted to take over the Hawaiian Kingdom government and who were successful because of the United States intervention. They make their way to the statue of their queen and drape her with lei. It's a way of paying tribute and to letting her know that those who still believe in the Hawaiian Kingdom will continue to protest the taking of their land. The Hawaiian Kingdom still exists and we are its nationals. We are its subjects that are still around and that we still are pressing for justice. While many are sympathetic to their cause, they also believe that there could be a more effective way to reach out to more people as they voice their concerns. I think if we could work with everyone, this will become an issue that um, will get more, the Hawaiians will get, become more sympathized by different people and uh, more support from different people. Much of the groundwork that has been laid over the last few years are now, are now going to probably be uh, uh, coming to a head and we expect some international events to occur, uh, some international breakthroughs, as well as some things on the local level. It's a way for these organizations to sound off about how they feel about the state of the Hawaiian nation and to show everyone the steps they're taking to reclaim the Hawaiian Islands. The U.S. Department of the Interior held a series of statewide meetings last year to discuss Native Hawaiian recognition. It could take up to seven months to review all the testimonies. At that time, a decision might be made on whether or not to proclaim Hawaii as a self-governing entity.